Hey guys, this is the Jackal with a video review of Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Predacons Rising Deluxe Class Predacon Skylinks. And yeah, this is my first Predacons Rising figure. And I hope to get the big, huge Predacon and the uh, little Bonimus sometime if I have the money. But I had enough money to get this last night, so. But uh, yeah, otherwise, Target didn't really have much besides a couple Cyberverses. Uh, I know they had a Beast Hunter Star Screen, but I didn't really want Go Go Boots again. So, but uh, yeah, so here is Skylinks in his Predacons Rising uh, package. So, he got a nice big picture of Predaking. Um, and he's only at Target, so yeah. Then, of course, you see Skylinks in his robot mode. And the package is thick, so. And also on the bottom. Also available, Darksteel. Hope to get him sometime soon, along with Cryofire Predaking, because that thing looks sweet. But on the back, of course, Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Predacons Rising. Here's a brief one sentence bio in three languages. But uh, yeah, again, Skylinks, he's a Predacon. Predacon logo, there he is in robot mode and in his beast mode. And I forgot to say, this is also a repaint of the. Uh, Beast Hunters uh, Sky Stalker, I believe. Um, so, and yeah, there is his text specs, and again, three languages. So, but uh, yeah, pretty cool figure. I actually have been looking um, to this for a while now. But uh, yeah, so let's bust him out of his plastic and cardboard prison and see how cool he actually is. So here we have Skylinks open up and out of its packaging and in his beast mode and it might look a little weird but I did follow the instructions the best I could because um, I thought there was something going on with his head and neck but it wouldn't do it so I just left it alone. And he actually looks kind of good but I do like this a lot. Um, and he is based off the G1 uh, Skylinks a little bit because the white and a little bit of the red kind of represents the shuttle jet that he was and the blue pieces kind of represent the little blue and red thing that he was on like that his yeah space body or space shuttle thing sat on but uh yeah so but yeah this is a direct red white and blue with some gold repaint of the beast hunter sky stalker which i have to get but um yeah i actually do like this a lot this is actually nice despite the waist piece is loose despite that's how it goes so but yeah and I thought as for a special um, comparison why not get an original Predacon from like the olden days and I don't mean like the G1 Predacons I mean something like this Waspinator so but yeah there is the newer Predacon with the older Predacon so but uh, yeah so and he actually does come with a couple weapons uh, that he can use in um, beast mode and robot mode. You just, uh, yeah, spin the blue pieces as far as they can go. But you can also spin the white pieces too. So he's, they're more straighter. And you push the blue piece? No. Yeah, you. I think you put your finger right in here. Or you grab it, at least. And it shoots this little disc. Yeah, you put your finger in right there. And I'm trying to... There it goes. But yeah, it's, there are two uh, friction... Drop the thing again. But anyways, there are two uh, friction um, discs. So... That one got dirty. But uh, anyways, you want to make sure that the bigger inner circle is on the outside so the little smaller one can go inside here I'll focus in sorry about that let's do it again there we go so yeah you can see where the smaller part goes and there's random hair but uh, yeah, it just goes like that and you can just put them like this and you can just have them as a dragon so but uh yeah, so there is his beast mode. And he does have articulation. It's mostly ball joints, but uh, 
you can do whatever you want. I just usually like to leave them like this for some reason. So, but uh, yeah, there is his beast mode. Okay, transformation um, from beast to robot. I'm gonna use the instructions because some points do get a little tricky. But anyways, what you want to do for step one, uh, for some reason you want to pop off the end of the tail, which I'm not sure what this piece even goes in robot mode. I mean, it's just there. Uh, so, you just put that to the side. And you want to take the tail. Just bring it up. You want to straighten the legs. As best as you can. Then you want to take out these little tendon, I guess, piece on each side of the leg. And what you do for this, rotate these inwards. Then you rotate the hands. Because it's kind of like, um, oh, it's a good figure that basically did this. Um, Energon Rodimus, kind of the same way. I thought there was another one, but I couldn't remember exactly. But yeah, you just rotate that around. Then you could just rotate this up, and there should be a tiny, eeny weeny tab right there, and it can go into one of the two holes. I just do it like the hole closest to you, like that. So there's that. Yeah, and you want to push the waist together, like that. Then you want to, it says to push up on the arms. Yeah, did that. But anyways, just push this down all the way to hear it click. Then push this down to hear it click. Bring these up like that. It says to bring down the chest piece like this. Because it's supposed to collapse, like, um, like the whole back piece was up, but I never got to that, so it just basically says, yeah, that it collapses down a little bit, but, huh. but uh, bring the head down a little bit, bring down the jaw, I'm gonna bring down the face, bring it back up. Now it says that you're done. Um, Okay, I don't know where the little tailpiece goes, which is kind of weird. But uh, there is Skylynx, I guess, in his robot mode. Um, which you can kind of angle the tail any way you want. Sorry if I'm not focusing on it, I was paying attention to the figure itself. But uh, yeah, there is Skylynx, and now he wants to fall over. I think because of the... Uh, little disc launch gimmick thing. Uh, let's see what I can uh, try to fix that. Yeah, it looks like he wants to fall over no matter what. Unless you find the good point of uh, balance, I guess, because his legs are a little loose. Um, I mean, you kind of get that, but Looks like he still wants to fall over. Um, and his waist button. Why is he? Uh oh. Come on. Here, I'll be right back. There we go. He looks a little better. Um, now that little tail piece, as you can notice, I just put it back as I read the instructions again. And it doesn't say anywhere to put it, because you have to take it off for some reason. Uh, so I found it pretty stupid that they just have you take it off for no reason, so I just put it back on. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, he does have his problems, I guess. So that I just found this out, but, uh, I mean, a standing problems, you can't do much about it unless you fix the ball joints. Or, actually, better yet. Oh, I thought he was going to make him stand on the... A little tail point, which actually kind of helps, but uh, 
And his waist is starting to split again. I think that might be a problem too. If Hasbro were to put in like a better tab. I mean he has something in there. But it's not really, you know, strong. Oh wait, there we go. Now I got it. I, I mean a little bit. Uh, so. But uh, yeah, there's Skylinks. And of course for robot mode comparison. We got the Waspinata back in. Yeah, so. So, uh, Skylinks is actually pretty uh, tall, well, despite how you put his legs. Um, so, he actually does look nice. Now, due to the lighting that I have, it's kind of make him look weird. But, uh, it got something. But, uh, yeah. So there is Skylynx and Waspinator. And finally, uh, for this last bit of the review, uh, articulation. Um, well actually, you want to make sure that the arm's all the way up. If it'll go up, but I don't want to. But yeah, he has a swivel head, which can go like that. Or, yeah, you could do his beast head, because Skylynx and G1 had like a beast-looking head. Or it can have his real robot face showing. Um, so that can go, I think it does in yes and no. So, but, um, and it has this. But I think that's mostly for transformation, I believe. So, but, uh, yeah, you got ball jointed elbows, swivel here, and, yeah, you got the hinge. Uh, no hand, uh, waist. Yep, you got waist, you got ball jointed hips, you got the swivel too, so you can rotate that more. Uh, you got the pivot on the knee, you got this part, and you got the, or it, it's kind of like a double jointed knee, I guess. Um, then you got the foot, so. And of course, if you wanted to use his disc launcher gimmick, you could still use it, so. There is the articulation for. Skylinks. So this has been the review of Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Predacons Rising, Target Exclusive, Predacon Skylinks. And yes, that is a mouthful. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Jackal, and of course, Skylinks. You can get this guy on Big and Bad Toy Store, along with many other Big and Bad Toy Needs. Uh, go follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll leave the link to the description, in the description, to all that good stuff, in, of course, down below. Um... Message me on Twitter if you want to come to the next Hanging Out with the Jackal, which will possibly be this Saturday at 7, 8 Central, maybe. I don't know. Uh, just message me if you're available and if you want to come. Um, yeah, so. And again, guys, thanks for watching. This has been the Jackal, and I will see you guys later.